Hi everybody, my name is Alex Elfrick, and I am a seminarian here at Mount St. Mary's Seminary of the West in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I am the oldest son of Mrs. Elfrick, who works in kindergarten at St. John of Arc. And she sent me along some of the questions that all you guys came up with to ask me about what it's like to be a seminarian and um, how I knew I wanted to be a seminarian and, and different things about what it's like to, to be a seminarian and want to be a priest. So the first question that you guys asked, which was a very good one, and that I get a lot, is when did you know that you wanted to be a priest? And I first started thinking about being a priest when I was a college student at Bowling Green State University, not too far from where all you guys are, at Joan of Arc. And I started thinking about it there because uh, I started to meet some people down there who became very good friends of mine, and they were Catholic, and I started to go to Mass with them, and I started to pray more, and as I started to pray more, I started to ask God a very exciting and dangerous prayer. And that prayer is, what do you want me to do with my life? And the more I thought about it, and the more I prayed about it, the more I thought that God was calling me to be a priest. And I realized, well, that's what I, that's what I should do. I should pursue the priesthood. So that led me down here to Cincinnati, Ohio, about three hours south of where you are, to study to be a priest. So what I thought I would do is to answer some of your questions. I would take you around to some of the different places in the seminary so you can see a little bit of what it looks like as I answer your questions. So here we are in my room that I have here at the seminary. I, uh, we're doing this here so you can kind of get a chance to look around a bit and see the space that I have here. Because one of the cool things about the seminary is that every priest and every seminary here has his own room. So he has his own space where he can go to read and to pray and to study and to sleep. Um, and, and, and have his own space. And I thought this might be a good place to answer a question that I know a lot of you have and that I commonly get asked as a seminarian, and that is, how many years does it take for you to become a priest? And the answer to that question is seven. It takes seven years for me from the beginning of my seminary studies to the very end of my seminary studies when I get ordained a priest. Now you may be thinking, wow, seven years is a really long time. What, what do you do all the time during those seven years? And that's also a good question. And the answer to that is we do a lot. We're kept very busy um, every day, and there's a, a big variety of things that we do. The most common things that we do are to pray and to read and to study. So I put some of the books that I uh, have used throughout the years here on my desk so you can see them. Most of the stuff that we study here has to do with philosophy and theology because that's the, the sorts of things that we have to know as a priest. But in addition to that, guys here like myself have a lot of hobbies and things that they like to do for fun. So one of my favorite things to do for fun is to play the guitar. I have a lot of friends here at the seminary who like to play music, including my friend Ambrose, who is taking the video right now. So I'll often get together with him or some other buddies of mine to play music. And we also have a gym here, so sometimes we go down there to play basketball or to play soccer when the weather is bad, but we also go outside to do that as well. So a lot of guys here have different hobbies and things they do for fun, in addition to all the things that we have to do, all the praying and, and the studying and the work. And all that goes into a very busy lifestyle, but a very gratifying lifestyle. And even though it takes us seven years to do everything that we need to do, the time flies very fast, and it'll be done before I know it. So here, I'm sitting in one of the classrooms that I sit in every day when I'm taking classes here at the seminary. And I thought this might be a good place to answer your question, what has been a special moment for you uh, as you have been a seminarian? So I think without a doubt, one of my most special moments after becoming a seminarian was actually during my very first year of seminary. And the rest of the seminarians and I took a trip to Washington, D.C because Pope Francis was coming to the United States, and he had a big mass at the National Basilica in Washington, D.C. And I was very fortunate to be at that mass with the other seminarians here, and to actually see Pope Francis as he came down the road and around the hill and up to the chapel in his Pope mobile. And one of the really special things about that was not only just to see the Pope in person with my very own eyes, but when I looked at him, I was really struck with the reality of how, in our faith, one of the things that makes it so special is that somebody like the Pope, we can trace him all the way back to Jesus Christ himself. Because the Pope 
is the Pope because he knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody, who knew somebody all the way back to Jesus Christ himself. And that's one of the most amazing things about our faith is that we have this chain that we can follow all the way from the first days of our faith right here today. And that was right there before my eyes in the person of Pope Francis. And that was one of the most amazing things that I've been able to see since becoming a seminary. So we're sitting in the chapel of St. Gregory the Great here at the seminary, which is the main chapel here. And this is the chapel where myself and all the other seminarians get together four times a day to pray together and to have mass together. And I brought you here because of this magnificent piece of art behind us, which is called a Raridos. And as you can see, the Raridos depicts uh, many different saints on it. So I thought this would be a good place to answer your question, uh, which is, what is your favorite saint? And that's a hard question because I don't just have one favorite saint, I have a couple favorite saints. So I thought I would take a little bit of time to tell you about some of them. So first, one of my favorite saints is St. Paul. St. Paul is one of my favorite saints because when I was like you guys going to school in St. Joan of Arc, I did confirmation and I chose St. Paul as my confirmation saint. So I really liked that he worked very hard in the early church and that he wrote a lot of great letters that we have in the Bible to help people live good Christian lives. One of my other favorite saints who I got to know here in the seminary was St. Thomas Aquinas. And I like St. Thomas Aquinas a lot because he loved to read and he loved to write and he, and he loved to learn. And those are some of my favorite things about being in the seminary. So I appreciate him a lot and I look to him for his example. And thirdly, one of my favorite saints is St. Saint Francis de Sales. St. Francis de Sales is the patron saint of writers, and I like to write, I've always liked to, and I've also really liked reading St. Francis de Sales books, because he always gives really good advice on what to do if you're having trouble with things like praying, or loving your neighbor, or uh, being the kind of person that God wants you to be, especially if you're trying to be a good priest. And finally, one of my favorite saints, and hopefully you can see this, here's a photograph of her. This is St. Therese of Lisieux. St. Therese of Lisieux is really great, because sometimes you have to make big decisions in your life, especially when it comes to thinking about your vocation, say whether you want to be a priest. So I pray to St. Therese of Lisieux a lot to ask for her help. Believe me, she has helped me a lot. So she is one of my favorite saints too. Well, thank you everybody for your questions. It was a lot of fun to answer them. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your Catholic Schools Week. And remember to keep praying for vocations and also keep praying for Father Adam and for Father Manoj and for Bishop Thomas for all our